A stunning art exhibit has toured cathedrals, churches, and museums in Europe and the United States. Lucky for us, the Icons and Transformation exhibit is showing right here in Tucson at the St. Philip's in the Hills Episcopal Church. Reverend Robert Hendrickson and artist Ludmila Palaska are here to tell us all about it. You guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, first off, I did say this was a stunning uh, art exhibit, but it is also a very massive uh, art exhibit. What made you want to take this on uh, at the church. Yeah, it is. It, there, there are over 120 pieces in the exhibit, some of which are absolutely massive. Uh, and we wanted to take it on. I mean, since 1936, we have been uh, a, a church that has valued mm -hmm. art. It's part of our founding mission is that we would make art and music available to the entire city. And we, you know, in the Episcopal Church, our take is that uh, people are called to, to love God and to be loved by God. And part of that is, is using all the gifts we have, which include being artists, musicians, architects, all of that goes into that kind of work of, of uh, uh, that exchange of love. Well, where does one put such a, a ma uh, display, such a massive art exhibit? Well, the real question is where don't we? I mean, <laughs> it's just sort yes. of where we are. It's uh, the, the, the main church uh, building has been transformed inside with the, by the artwork. Uh, the, all of our, our side chapels, our, the Murphy Gallery, which is our main art gallery on, on the campus, has been uh, transformed. So it, it's everywhere, and it's, it's just stunning to walk through. It is, and I know uh, we have two of the pieces here, which I, I said is just a tip of the uh, iceberg. You have to go and really uh, enjoy <laughs> and admire the entire exhibit. Uh, tell us a little bit about the background of the exhibit. Um, exhibit is about contemporary art inspired by classical traditional icons. And I think the true artist does not use form, design, and color simply to create visual um, uh, piece, but in order to communicate something very profound and meaningful. It's why each piece always starts with the question. And I try never to force and come up with the answer. But, but wait until the solution comes to me. And of course, colors, it's very obvious and powerful elements. So I'm using symbols of colors from icons, especially red as a symbol of life and love, blue as a symbol of uh, sky linking it with heaven, symbol of mystery of life. And gold is not regarded as a color, but regarded as a kind of a form of light, divine light. And of course, eyes are very significant. Uh, the title of this piece, Mirror of Your Soul. I, it's mirror of your spirit, your soul, it's wind of your heart. And the technique I use, I call it three-dimensional painting. Everything on wooden panel, and I use different kind of materials, like, as you can see, copper, and nothing is occasionally. Some pieces, like this piece, came from very old door, because mm. generally, you call icons door to paradise. They open for you something. So may, you may see something beyond, behind, images. Sometimes I even cut through this opening. So it's something about unknown, which you can't see like faith for me, something you believe in something you can't see. So it's all about different uh, angles, d different perspectives. It's up to you. And, but every single title, I should say, it just uh, gives you a little tiny idea. It's up to you. You decide what can you see. It's your interpretation. It's matter. And I put all, all my soul, all my feelings uh, to create this art. It's, I, I create love and I create art uh, to help me to live, to divert myself. Oh. You know, just uh, listening to you, I, I think seeing the exhibit after listening to you will definitely give us a different layer uh, of appreciating uh, the art. I'm actually going to let everybody know how long the exhibit will be there and how they can get some more information. Uh, but thank you so much for hosting thank it. And thank you so thank much you. for explaining thank you for this. Having you. Oh, beautiful. Thank As we you. just discussed, Icons and Transformation is happening this Sunday all the way through January 7th of next year. To learn more, please call 299-6421 or visit stphillipstucson.org.